Today I'm here with my mother Patsy who's just popped over from Ibiza and we're going to create a youth boosting naturally glamorous makeup for the 60s plus woman. I'm going to start off by using my magic cream which I know mommy you're absolutely obsessed by. Absolutely love it. I want it to make me look absolutely fabulous. But since you've been using the magic cream because you have said there's a massive difference in your skin since oh, you've been using it. A huge difference actually because it's really rich and for my sort of skin being fair and a bit dry, it really plumps it up. So on top of the magic cream to put this Wonder Glow, the Youth Elixir, right. with a, a beauty flash that kind of just pumps the skin and floods it with light and soft focuses all your lines and pores. You know when you're younger, you're kind of, your skin is lit from within, that's what this does. We're gonna pop on a little bit of the Light Wonder Foundation. But the great thing about this is it's got a natural turn to retinol in it, um, the foundation. Retinol basically is super youth boosting. So it really kind of plumps it up and makes it look really glowing because that's what you lose as you get older. You oh, lose all the fade. glow. You absolutely fade. And of course, as we know, too much sun is a sin. It just ruins your skin. Too much sun is beauty suicide. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of the retouch, and the retouch is great. You know, it's sort of I call it I call it the retoucher because do you know all those photographers you work with? It's that little retouching pen, yeah. magic pen, just kind of takes out all any sort of age spots or freckle, unwanted freckles or blemishes. I know you love this, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Sometimes, actually, if I'm in a rush, I put on the magic cream, slap on the lipstick, and pop that over my face and out the door. Wing mirror makeup, we call that. Uh, winging it. <laughs> <laughs> winging it in your wing mirror. <laughs> the brow defines the eye and brings out the eye, am I right? Yeah, exactly right, it's the pillars of the face. I know Cara really brought back the brow, didn't she? Everyone doing Cara brow. Uh, yes, it gives you, it makes you empowered, the brow. My eyelashes and eyebrows were very pale. You said to me, oh, you should dye them, because a friend of yours in the 60s had told, you know, got you into dyeing your eyebrows. He was a redhead, he was your godfather. And we went to Ibiza together and he was dyeing his eyelashes. He turned me on to dyeing the eyelashes and also plucking my brows, which gave them a good shape. I always tell you to use lash colours. I mean, these are a bit less like a weapon of torture because they're in the pretty rose gold. Your eyelashes are a little bit straight and it just immediately kind of opens them up. Right, I'm now going to use the Golden Goddess Prime, Enhance, Smoke, Pop, Desk, Dusk, Disco. Right, so at night you've got that in the day and that at night. Perfect. Golden Goddess is very much kind of inspired by all those sort of Ibethan beauties, those natural kind of beauties that were on Selena's and all those kind of, you know, they always had that sort of bronzy, yeah, but they were. beach baby, kind of, you know, quite Giselle, really. So it called that series where she was always too tanned and too blonde. Baywatch. Baywatch. We don't want Baywatch, we want golden goddess <laughs> Ibiza. And so now I'm going to take a little bit of the um, smoke shade with right. my smudger brush. Right. Because, you know, it's always just two brushes. This is the blender brush. Right. We pop it in there and put it backwards and forwards all over the eye. Then that's the enhanced shade and that goes all over the lid, backwards and forwards. And then you... And now we've, we've popped the blender brush into the smoke shade. And you close your eyes and then you pop a little bit of that all over the lid as well. And then this one, which is the smudger brush, popping that again into the smoke shade. And then you can just go along the lash line with that to just add a little bit more intensity to the eye. Okay, near, nearer to the... To lash the line. Lash line, exactly. And then I might stop for a minute and just put a bit of eyeliner on the lash line. And it's good, this pencil, because it's called the Classic, and it's a powder pencil, so it's for those people who want intensity without it looking too harsh. Darling, I'm so excited you're doing my makeup. I'm going to look fabulous, finally. This is great, this mascara, because it really does give you that flutter of eyelashes. It doesn't clog, that's what's awful about some mascaras. And it doesn't extend your eyelashes, this yeah, mascara. Yeah, it does. It extends them, it doesn't clog them, and it thickens them up. Because as you get older, you all know that, your lashes become thinner and more sparse. Unfortunately, everything fades. You know, as they say, vanity, vanity, all is vanity. Well, it is. It's all about the way you look. And you keep I up the standards and then you can feel better about yourself. It's Makeup is empowering. 
can see that now putting mascara on one eye, top and bottom of the lashes, as opposed to the other eye that it doesn't have any mascara on, the difference that actually, even if you don't have that many lashes, because you know, as you were saying, you don't have many lashes yeah, on the bottom, and they sort of become a little bit more sparse as you've got older, how actually the right mascara really can thicken them up. It's really important to use lots of coats of mascara, and you can really see the difference here. And also nails are very important because as you age, your hands are one of the most aging things. Even if your face looks fabulous, your hands give you away. But I do manicure every month. It's more about how women don't make the effort and you do get judged by the way that you look. You know, and suddenly their hair went grey and they suddenly stopped wearing the lipstick, they stopped bothering with makeup and they literally aged almost overnight. Well, I've always said lipstick, instant glamour. I, in fact, if I was stranded on a desert island, I would want a life supply of lipstick to look glamorous when I was rescued. Yes. What do you think, Mummy, some of those women, those, they, they, you know, the kind of all those fabulous women that we knew and the kind of things that they passed on? Well, Nicole, who was a great beauty, always said to me, I have never worked because it's very hard work to be beautiful. <laughs> and I remember her every night I put on my face cream. I think it's really important to moisturise your skin. And I think you can never give up having pride in yourself. It's really important. I'm going to put a little bit of bronze, you know, the film Star Bronze and Glow, dip it into the sculpt shade, dust it off on the back of your hands, and then pop it on to your forehead like that, and then yeah. across your cheekbones, almost where the sun would naturally hit you. And that just sort of gives you that kind of golden glow look. Sculpts your face. Exactly, it sculpts your face. But then I'm going to take this brush and dip that into the highlight shade. Right. There. And then this is a bit like dripping candlelight on top of your skin. It will sort of, you put that onto the C section, just that little bit there, this top of your cheekbone. And that, just puts, paints in a little bit of candlelight into the skin. So now I'm going to do your lipstick before I do your blush. As you get older, actually what happens is your lips shrink. Right. And the, your, and the great thing about what we've just done with the Film Star Bonds and Glow is that we've kind of lifted your face and given you a little bit of colour because actually everything is, you begins to collapse as you get older. As I'm getting older, it's really important to line the and lips. And it coordinates the colour with the lipstick, the lipstick. which is vital. Exactly. Okay, I've got it. Yeah, so just going to shape your lips with the lip liner. Okay. And it's also very important to put your makeup on in a good light. It's really important to have a good look at your face before you go out in the daylight. I had a hot tip. It's very good to use sea salt to clean your teeth sometimes. It takes off the skirt and makes them quite bright. I use sea salt every day. These rose body neutral colours are really pretty because they just add a little bit of colour without it being too harsh or too made up and a little bit more flattering, a little bit more modern, especially as you're getting older, because certain lipsticks can dance. Age you, yes, I agree. And age you. I remember when Bridget Bardo came into fashion and we all wore pink gingham and went out and bought pink lipstick, corn silk, and I had big sexy mouth, and my father was furious I was wearing that lipstick, but I just loved it. <laughs> yes. So now we're gonna put a bit of my lip luster lip lacquer on. It does get smooth out any lines on the lips and gives, makes the mouth look a little bit more lush. Smile. So now, Mummy, we're going to put a little bit of ecstasy blusher on as a final touch. So you see how there's a yes, hue too dark red, of right. colour yeah. in the middle and there's a goldeny soft on the outside. peach colour on the outside and that tawny browny colour and those you swish and dip and pop. Oh, and then when you pop, pop and, okay. And then you look in the mirror and you find your apples of your cheek and then you just swish and pop. And that just to lift the face. If you want more definition on your jawline, because as you get older, what does happen I agree, is yeah. your jaw begins to drop. drop. You take the sculpt brush with a point, dip it into the sculpt shade, literally you carve and you redefine your jawline. Yeah, perfect. I think we're done. Do I look like a goddess? <laughs> <laughs> I think you look gorgeous, but this, again, this is a golden goddess look. So this is something I'd look, use on Giselle or I'd use on Kate. It's sort of 17 to 70. It's ageless makeup. And in fact, by using those kind of modern, pretty colours, it, may, it instantly makes it them look younger. It softens you as well. Exactly.
Now, I love all the different choices, the different looks, and the brushes make a huge difference. Yeah. Because they outline your face, your eyes, and as I say, easy to choose, easy to use. I'm going to show you now Golden Goddess. Oh, wow. Gosh, hot to trot. Well, you wouldn't know I was over 65, would you? No. You look younger, the skin looks younger, and your eyes brings your eyes out. Okay, I'm thrilled, darling. Absolutely the new look. Yeah. Maybe I'll get a new man. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs>